414 Johnny B asks so do you and Isabella you know do the bit <laughs> do the dirty business uh, no <laughs> no no we don't it's it's not a sexual relationship um, the only dirty business that that happens is the dirty dishes that I give her to wash up uh, otherwise no <laughs> that would just be weird man I mean come on <laughs> me having sex with a fictional character of my own making would just be creepy um, the fail gamer 27 asks what has been your favourite LP so far I'm going to assume well I don't know whether you mean of mine or of other people's of mine my favourite LP so far um, Oblivion's going on pretty well I'm reasonably proud, proud of that uh, but I was looking through old videos, and you know what? My Enclave LP is pretty damn good, uh, because I was just playing it without any pressure, without... I knew no one would watch it, so I was just like, yeah, whatever, I'm gonna play Enclave, and I really think that I did a good job LPing that game. So it's either between... Because um, it's not Deus Ex, it's not any of the Baldur's Gates, not The Witcher, because I failed too much at that. Um... Yeah, it's, it's it's probably Enclave. Oh, Blood Rain. No, not Blood Rain. Um, out of mine, it's probably either the yeah the uh, Oblivion one that I'm doing right now. If I don't screw it up, because obviously it's not finished at the current time of the recording. Or uh, Enclave. L favorite LP um, of someone else is either. It's probably something like like Jeff's Isle Two Somovic LP, or it's something by Kikoskia, like one of his Barbie Horse Adventures Quickly Play ones. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I think you mean mine, don't you? What's your favorite LP so far? What has been your favorite LP so far? Um, of course, you. Yeah, I think I think I, I Enclave is probably the one that I think I did best with. So yeah, <laughs> bizarrely, uh, I'm gonna answer Enclave. Um, uh, the bug sana sanator asks, would you ever play Skyrim Elder Scrolls Five when it comes out? Yes, I think I've answered that before anyway. But yes, yes, I would play it when it comes out, and I probably will play it when it comes out. But you guys won't know a thing about it, and I don't want to talk about it. Uh, das Wolfen asks, how much more of Baldur's Gate 1 is left approximately? Definitely my favourite LP of yours. Superbly played without being drearily predictable, i.e. a fight, every fight a guaranteed win. Really? Because I thought I was like really good at that game and didn't die very much, but I'm glad you've been amused by it. Uh, I will answer you. Um, there are 221 videos of that LP. Today I upload video 206 so currently there's about three weeks left yeah and then we'll see uh, I'm a happy moo cow <laughs> one awesome name asks what is your favorite subject what was your favorite subject at school as a kid a little ramble and random I know but surely says a lot about people what was my favourite subject as a kid? Well, it wasn't maths, it wasn't RE, it wasn't really geography, even though that's what I kind of, or science, and then what I ended up doing at uni. Um, I, I kind of, only because of the teacher, I mean, the, I don't remember a lot about school, and I'm thinking towards the, the end of my school, before, like, um, when I actually had to go in a direction. Uh, history. We had a good teacher for history, and we were discovering that, um, like, uh, we were just talking about learning about everything from Stone Age medicine, which I found fascinating, drilling a hole in someone's skull, to um, the history of Germany between the world wars and the rise of Hitler and how Hitler um, became a dictator in Germany. Um, that was really, really interesting. So I really liked learning about that, but it's not something that I pursued. Though looking back, I don't know why I didn't, because I did find it really, really interesting. 
I, I didn't like English at all, even though I like writing, I did not like English, I did not like studying poems or short stories and analysing them and looking for hidden meanings, so I did not like that at all, I thought it was rubbish. But we did like a creative writing module and I really liked that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, probably the, the thing that, that although um, I, did, I mentioned I didn't like RE, but some of it I did, I did like as well because it was a little bit different and we were learning about different things that did vaguely interest me. Like we learned about Buddhism. I did Buddhism for, for GCSE, which is like the main... Um, why is MS, MSN just popped up? It's weird. Um, like when you when you get when you turn sixteen, that's that's your base qualifications, GCSEs, and we were learning about Buddhism, and I found that quite interesting as well. But my favourite was probably history. It's been too long on that question. Far too long on this question. Um, Diabetic Necromancer asks, "How old do you think your demographic is in your videos? Ten to twenty? I could find out, but I reckon it's probably." primarily like probably 17 to 27 probably that's like the, the 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 most age group with like you know obviously like 80 percent of female obviously <clears throat> golden waddle d asks do you play many games back did you play many games back in the nez area era when RPGs and such weren't so common, minus computer games, that is. I, 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 was, I didn't have a, a NES, I had a, a Sega Mega Drive 2, which probably had a different name in uh, America. So I was playing games like Revenge of Shinobi, I was playing Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, um, and Micro Machines, and um, Sensible Soccer. Uh, I had a Commodore 64 before that, in which I was playing games like Barbarian, Golden Axe, and Hero Quest. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of a common theme. They were always my favourite style of games, even when I was really young. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I suppose I did play quite a lot of games back uh, in the NES era and even before that, because uh, I guess I'm a little bit older than you. So, yeah, I've always been playing games. Uh, Denubix asks. Uh, which LP would you adopt into a drinking game? With what drink and what rules? Hmm. Well, I did play Golden Axe as a drinking game. And every time I died, I had to take a drink. Golden Axe, Revenge of Death Adder, I played that. And I was playing it with Guinness. I'd probably play it with Guinness. Um, a game where every time you die, you drink is a good one. Uh, unless it's a game like I Want to Be the Guy. Um, oh! With a recent uh, episode of Interactive Morrowind, because uh, I'm guessing you mean like My Let's Plays, I'm probably better at doing it with My Let's Plays because I, I'm aware of my LPs more. Um, with Interactive Morrowind, there was one where I bought a, a pillow fort, I built a pillow fort, and someone said something about how many times I said pillows, and so I posted a comment back saying, drink every time I say pillow. So that would be cool to do like that session. I think it was like two, I think it was last week or the week before, where, um, yeah, I built a pillow fort. And so I said pillow quite a lot. So you have to just take a swig, take a mouthful every time I say pillow. That would be cool. That would, that would be an interesting half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Uh, Aneth1313. Do you know much of Forgotten Realms outside the Baldur's Gate slash Icewind Dale slash Neverwinter Nights games? No, I don't. I have a couple of books. Uh, I have the Dragons of Autumn Twilight and that series. Is that Forgotten Realms? Might be. But I, even though I've read them, it was a long time ago, and so I can't really say that I know a hell of a lot about the Forgotten Realms universe at all, uh, apart from what I've seen in the games. Ice Screwy asks, do you have a drinking problem, lol question? Yes, I do. I don't drink enough. Vampire I Am 3 asks, okay, how about this? What, how about, all right, how about this? What about doing Skyrim Interactive when it comes out? How about no? Because, think about it. The games just come out. 
how am I going to do interactive LP of it? Because in order to do an interactive LP, the player has to know the game really well. So how would I do an interactive LP of the game? I'd have to look up everything on the wiki and it would not be very... No, <laughs> let's not do that. Um, Asgard001 if you could have any Jedi Force power, what would it be and why? That's funny you asked that because I was actually thinking about this and I'm going to be quick answering this. I would have the power where to change people's minds, to do the, the, the two finger across the face thing or the hand across the face thing. And uh, I so I'd be like, I don't need to pay for these groceries. I You're going to give me this television. Uh, and stuff like that, you know, that would be awesome to just do that and get people to do what you want. You will sleep with me. You know, just like I would abuse that. Um, that one would be my definite choice. Uh, and I was thinking about that today. It's weird you would ask that. Um, so yeah, cool. Okay. Um. 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 Bye. <laughs>